So if you want to find the shortest distance between two lines as vectors, then what you have to do is you have to find two points, we'll call them A and B, where the distance A to B is the shortest. So this we'll call vector A to B. And then to find vector A to B, we have to do vector O to B, which is the position vector of B, minus the position vector of A. To find the position vector of A, then we have to uh, look at the purple line. We're given the equation, so all we have to do is group it together. We end up with 2 minus 3 lambda on the, on the top. On the middle, we end up with minus 1 plus 2 lambda. And then on the bottom, we have 3 minus 4 lambda. And then this second equation here, we'll do the exact same thing. 2 plus 5 mu, minus 2 plus mu, and then minus 4 minus 3 mu. We'll use these two equations to find a to b by just subtracting them from each other. And when we subtract them from each other, we end up with 3 lambda plus 5 mu minus 2 lambda plus mu minus 1 and 4 lambda minus 3 mu minus 7. Now here's the trick. These two lines make an angle of 90 degrees with this new vector a to b. So we need to use the dot product formula for finding the angle between two vectors. So that formula is a dot b is mod a mod b cosine theta. In this case, theta is 90 because the angle created is 90. Cosine 90 is zero, so it's just as simple as a dot b equals zero. So to do the dot product, you have to do the top times the top, the middle times the middle, and the bottom times the bottom. We'll do that for each of these here, and we end up with two big long equations. With these two equations, we're going to have to expand them out and then simplify them. We end up with minus 29 lambda minus mu plus 26 equals zero, and lambda plus 35 mu plus 20 equals zero. You can either solve these by hand or put these into your calculator, and you should get lambda equals 155 over 169, and mu equals minus 101 over 169. And we're not done yet. Our final step is to substitute lambda and mu into our vector a to b, and then find the length of a to b. You end up with this monstrosity of a vector, and if you simplify the fractions out, you should end up with these three numbers. I'm gonna take out minus 10 over 169, because that's a common factor, and uh, it's just gonna make things a lot simpler when we're doing Pythagorean theorem. And then to calculate the distance, we have to do minus 10 over 169, square root of four squared plus 58 squared plus 26 squared. You should get 3.768. That's the shortest distance between these two lines. All of that working out just to get that answer. Hopefully that helped you out. Uh, peace.